the teams behind the quartet of officials. Being warmly welcomed, both sets of teams. We are underway in this Group D tie between Burkina Faso and Mauritania. Koita, Koita, it's powerful, it's on target, but it's straight to the well-positioned goalkeeper, Alve Kofi. Just felt a little twinge in his hamstring. Actually, Tapsoba stepped on his ankle when they just landed there, so it was a bit of a, bit of a stump from Tapsoba that uh, hurt him there. Ball in, the header is on target, but it lacks any power, and the well-positioned goalkeeper Denies Burkina Faso. Gabore. It's a delightful looking ball into a dangerous area that Mauritania's defensive again dealt with. The Mohamed Alab. Shot here, snapshot taken, and it's not too far away from being a stunner. Striker's instinct there, turn and shoot. You want to see that from your forward players and situations like that because it's a tight area of uh, Mauritania put all their back, uh, back defenders at the back facing you, so you don't have much time to, to turn and shoot. So that was very, very uh, instinctive shooting from him. Lovely to watch. Koita wanted it. It's just drifted wide. Can he get into a position to shoot? Free kick Mauritania in a very dangerous position. He's not just adept, he's excellent at taking... Uh, Kicks from dead ball situations. Ali Abed off to the side. But Koita, you have to imagine, will be eyeing this. It's Koita! Oh, and somehow a swerving ball is just lopped over the crossbar by Kofi. He just loved to love his technique. Like you said, excellent technique there, just on top of the wall. The ball swerved on, uh, in front of the goalkeeper, but a very good save from the keeper as well that he watched the ball all the way uh, as it was coming towards him. But very good technique there from Koita. Mauritania seem invigorated. Tanji! Tanji with a powerful volley on target. Kofi. <laughs> He says he's got this under control, yeah. but Burkina Faso have been pinned back. We've got to admire the confidence of Mauritania. Uh, they just they believe in themselves, they believe they can do this, and they're showing it right now. Diego. Diego, that's a diagonal ball that is hopeful more than anything else, but it's worked out brilliantly. Lovely control, fine save from the ass. First time he's genuinely been called upon to stand up, and indeed he has delivered. And this was that lovely diagonal ball from Yogo over the top a short while ago. Nias diving in to cut out a cross from Kiaziz that had two Burkinabe players waiting for the ball had it gone beyond him. Cedric Badolo is going to make way for the Bertrand Traore. As the man who made his Burkina Faso debut as a 15-year-old against Equatorial Guinea in September of 2011, after impressing at the 2009 FIFA Under-17 World Cup and the 2011 CAF Under-17 Championships, Bertrand Traore, who played with his brother Alain for Burkina Faso for a number of years, is on the pitch. Mauritania here, have a little break. Cut back, space opening up, and Gorm wanted it, but it's eventually attempted, and a wonderful save from Elf Kofi. Sidi Buna with a strike that could so easily have put Mauritania in front. But Kofi with a top draw dive to his left to deny Mauritania a second Afghan goal ever. Some very, very good work there, good fit there, good technique as well, good execution from him there. But the goalkeeper was up to the task and some very, very, a very good save and a very good strike. Very, very beautiful to watch. Glorious all-round football. Traore. Lovely control. Leaves it behind for Cabore. Wonderful on the overlap here. Couldn't get the cross back or the cut back in. Traore! 
Ross pulls out a top draw save to deny Taore. A shot that seemed on target and destined to tuck into the back of the Mauritania net. Possession still favouring Burkina Faso, certainly. But Mauritania have made far more use of the little ball they have had in this game. Burkina Faso have been blunt up front here. Mauritania can afford to sit back really and just wait for them. Nothing, I don't think anything's going to happen. Is that a penalty? Referee says corner. Traore with a delightful ball in between the defence. Cabore goes down, it seems, under a challenge inside the penalty area. Dio comes charging over after Traore. Referee has called a corner. Now this is going to be checked by VAR. Well, the referee has got to officially review it. The Tunisian video assistant referee, Haitan Gurat, has called the referee over to take a look at this. And from any angle, it seems as if this is going to be what is colloquially called a peanut sometimes, a penalty. Yeah, it's a penalty. Let's give it It's a penalty. After review, Burkina Faso yeah, have a penalty. Yeah. We're well into out of time and Burkina Faso have an opportunity to score in 15 consecutive matches. But you've got to feel for Mauritania. Heartbreaking, heartbreaking. I feel sorry for them. There's still much, there's still much that needs to be completed if Burkina Faso are going to win this match. No, Mohamed El Abd picks up a yellow card for that challenge. Bertrand Traore from 12 yards out to step up and convert. An all-important penalty. Bertrand Traore steers it comfortably home and Burkina Faso are in front. They maintain their incredibly impressive record of scoring in consecutive Afghan matches. It's 15 in a row now for Burkina Faso as they are moments away from claiming three points in their Group D opener against Mauritania, who have toiled and stoically defended against the Burkinabe but have ultimately come undone courtesy of a late penalty. It was Bertrand Traore's pass that set up the penalty. It's Bertrand Traore who successfully steers Burkina Faso in front. And they'll just maintain possession. That is the end of this tie. Burkina Faso have won their first ever opening match in an Africa Cup of Nations. They left that incredibly late. A Bertrand Traore penalty in added time that seals the three points and the opening day victory as they score in 15 consecutive AFCON matches. The longest active scoring streak in the history of the competition is still alive. Courtesy of Traore's late winner from the penalty mark. Mauritania will feel heartbroken and crestfallen at the end of this tie. But it's Burkina Faso who pick up opening day honours. They've beaten Mauritania by a goal to nil in Buakir.